I love mods and custom content for The Sims 4, and making more objects usable and functional are some of my absolute favorites. Here are 10 of my favorite functional object mods. First up is this Functional Toaster by Necrodog. This adds a functional toaster to your game. If you click on it, you can make toast, and there are a variety of different recipes you can make and it has its own animations with it, like actually putting the toast in the toaster, which I think is just so cute. And then we can see our Sim actually like buttering the toast and adding the other ingredients to it. And look at how pretty this whipped cream and berries toast looks. I would eat that, even though it looks like fruity pebbles on there, it's probably even better that way. Next is the candle by Charlie Pancakes. This is a collection of 10 different colored candles and each one influences your Sim's mood in a different way if you enable its emotional aura. So for instance, if I enable the emotional aura for this red candle here, my sim became angry. And then let's disable that and let's enable this black candle because I don't know what mood that one is. That one made her confident. So you can see each one has a different emotion associated with it. You can also live drag and drop these into your Sims inventory. So you can carry them around with you wherever you want. And if you want them in a specific mood in a specific place, just drag that out wherever you are, enable that emotional aura, and they will become that emotion. Also, it does not set your house on fire like incense does. Besides my beautiful, wonderful, amazing gaming PC, my favorite gaming system is the Nintendo Switch. And now there is a mod to add a functional switch to your game. Along with the actual switch, it includes a charging dock, joy cons, and different grip colors, and the actual switch box. You do have to have the city living expansion for the docked switch to work, but the handheld switch is base game compatible. Even though it gives me hot girl tummy issues, I love cheese. So I loved finding this mod that adds a cheese making skill and cheese recipes that your Sims can make. Your Sim can and learn a variety of skills that go into making cheese, such as milk curdling, gross, and of course, how to make fresh cheese and cheese wheels. If you max out the cheese making skill, you'll get a cute little buff when they eat cheese or dishes with cheese in them. One time I had a Sim that was lactose intolerant, but I wanted them to be the ultimate cheese maker ever, and that poor Sim like suffered. I'm pretty sure I just tortured them. Something I've always wished for since I started playing the OG Sims when I was a kid is bags and purses that we can actually store stuff in, not ones just for decor. Coco Games comes in clutch and has made a ton of cute, functional bags available on their Patreon. This is one of my personal favorites because of the cute little My Melody charm it has on it. The bags basically act like a storage item, so they have an inventory you can use to put stuff in. Most of the bags do have just decor versions too if you don't want the functionality aspect and just want the cute bags. Hydra's manga, manga, I'm not quite sure ever how to say it, and I always forget when someone tells me, but their manga manga stuff kit includes 15 manga mangas your sim can actually read, and they have actual panels from the real IRL manga mangas in them. Some of the most popular ones are included in this set, like Demon Slayer, Death Note, and Attack on Titan. The set also includes three controller overrides, so you get these cute ones instead of the basic ones in the game. One thing I do miss from The Sims 3 is the silliness and just goofiness of the game overall. Another set from around the Sims I love using is their Sims 3 to 4 boats. I adored the swan boat in Sims 3. I just always thought it was just so silly for some reason and I just loved using it. So I'm really happy I can get this in the Sims 4 now. Like look at them paddling around in the ocean in this stupid, stupid swan boat. I just love it. It brings me a lot of joy. This mod is much more exciting if you've actually watched Black Mirror. There's an episode with Miley Cyrus where she plays Ashley O, who is a mega famous pop star and so famous she has an AI robotic doll cloned after her personality, conveniently named Ashley 2. And now you too can have your own Ashley 2 in The Sims 2 222. Ice Mun Mun is one of my favorite creators for food and drink mods and custom objects, and one of their latest creations is a functional milkshake maker with lots of milkshake recipes. With this mod, you can craft a variety of different milkshakes using that really cute milkshake maker. There are 13 flavors total you can download, and they can give three different buffs to your Sims. Plus, the milkshakes themselves are just super cute and really well made. Like, they are my go-to for food and drink. I am 
I'm telling you. And last, but definitely not least, is this functioning iMac computer from the 2000s. I was always envious of the girls I saw on TV with these. They were so cool and I always wanted an iMac, but I never got one. But with this mod, I can now live out my childhood fantasy of having this very Y2K piece of equipment and my Sims can use it instead of me and that's as good as it's gonna get for me. If you love mods like I do and you're looking for some brand new mods to go with your brand new purchase of the Lovestruck expansion, make sure you watch this video to get your fix.